Have you ever heard of Our Lady of Good Success, who appeared to a nun in the Immaculate of the Immaculate Conception back in the 16th century in Ecuador? Well, she has certainly known about you and me because she prophesied about the 20th century. Russia has stepped up its attacks in the east of Ukraine. How many people have died globally because of the COVID-19? Well, it's now climbed about 28,000. As you see, official spirit could double as freezing. Are the dire predictions coming through? Initiating satellite scan. Welcome to the third episode of OTL, On the Lookout, Warnings and Wisdom for Our Troubled Times, where we go over major apparitions, prophecies, messages from on high, decades or centuries before our modern time, yet telling us things about our time. And in this episode, we have the most knowledgeable guide on apparitions of the Blessed Mother in our co-host again, Dennis Arroyo. Profound greetings and gratitude, Dennis, for again joining us at OTL Episode 3. <laughs> and thank you, Rick. And hello again to all our OTL viewers. You know, one main message we should get from all the apparitions and uh, visions is the love and concern of our Lady and the Lord Jesus for us. This should be our focus in reviewing all the mass of apparitions we've seen. I, I, I'm glad that you mentioned the love of Jesus and Mary, which unfortunately people might miss because yeah. of all yeah. the uh, terrible yeah. things being prophesied. But in, and in fact, one of the best books on Marian apparitions is entitled, See How She Loves Us. See How She Loves Us, in 50 Approved Apparitions of Our Lady written by the late Joan Carroll Cruz, who wrote several books on miracles of our faith, including Eucharistic miracles and apparitions and holy images. And rather than scaring us with prophecies of chastisement, the apparitions and messages of Mary should really bring joy in the infinite love of God coursed through our Blessed Mother. Y yes, uh, her love and the love of Jesus and Mary should be the main takeaway from all these apparitions, including even uh, these disturbing warnings from yes. Our Lady of Good Success in Quito, Ecuador. Yes, that, that, that's really quite a lot of uh, uh, worrisome uh, messages from Our Lady, including the assassination of a president. Uh, yeah, yeah, even that, no? Uh, in 1599, Our Lady prophesied the assassination of a devout Catholic president. Huh will consecrate the nation to uh, the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So this is Ecuador being consecrated to the Sacred Heart. Yes, and uh, Our Lady called the President uh, truly Christian, and she prophesied the consecration more than 200 years mm -hmm. before it happened. She told uh, the Sister Mariana, okay, I'll quote from the, I'll read the quote, a truly Catholic President will come in the 19th century, a man of character, to whom our Lord God will give the palm of martyrdom in the plaza where his comrade of mine is. He will consecrate the Republic to the divine heart of my blessed son. The devout Catholic president was Gabriel Garcia Moreno. Indeed, he had the Congress consecrate Ecuador to the sacred heart of Jesus, and he was assassinated. Uh, he was a martyr of faith, no? The murder took place in the very plaza which Our Lady mentioned exactly uh, uh, congruent to the prophecy. You know, this is this is really martyrdom because she, he brings grace to his country with consecration and he is martyred for it. And uh, I recall that the consecration truly brings great bounties and graces to, to our nation. In Portugal, there, after the apparition of Our Lady of Fatima, there was also a consecration by the bishops. And I recall even the president at one point made a consecration and it spared Portugal from the Spanish Civil War next door, which was quite brutal, and the Second World War. Yeah, I want to highlight that. No, imagine the consecration of the nation spared Portugal from World War II, when the entire world was engulfed by the fire of war. And Portugal spared from World War II. Uh, fantastic, though. No? And, and it's really something that we hope will happen to our nation. I mean, we 
it really would be a wonderful thing if our ecclesiastical and national leaders can come together and consecrate the Philippines, especially in this time of geopolitical tension. Now, uh, you know, talking about uh, Our Lady of Good Success relating to the 20th century, what did he say about our time? Uh, I'm yes. a bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's understandable. Uh, uh, first, an angel said, no, uh, I'll quote, an angel An angel uh, appeared to the, the missionary, his sister Mariana, and uh, the angel said, Arise and approach, for God desires to reveal to you a great secret. This punishment will be for the 20th century. Punishment. punishment. Yes, punishment, chastisement, disaster for the 20th yes. century. Yes, imagine uh, um, uh, a message from the 1500s for the 20th century. century. Yes. And then, then she saw on the head of Christ, above the head of Christ, three swords. And they said, I will punish heresy. I will punish blasphemy. I will punish impurity. All right, let me hang on there, Doc. So those are three grave sins, no? Heresy, of course, is denying or, you know, distorting, uh, going against doctrines that are handed down by our Lord Jesus Christ for our salvation uh, through the church. So if you go against that, you are actually, you know, deceiving people and turning them away from salvation. Yes, yes. Second one, blasphemy. Of course, direct attack on God himself uh, and sometimes his ministers and great saints. And, you know, you are attacking the, the divinity of God himself, the, the great, uh, instead of adoring him, you, 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 we, uh, we attack his, his, uh, his, uh, his sanctity. Well, that, of course, demands punishment and it has happened a lot in our time because yes, of this, of denial of God. And finally, impurity, the sins against the Blessed Virgin. Uh, Our Lady is a paragon of chastity and virginity, and people who sin against impurity uh, purity will uh, sin against the Blessed Mother, especially uh, her uh, eternal virginity as Mother of God. Yes. So you can imagine why the Lord would punish us. Yeah, and then what else? Yes, uh, and more on prophecy on the 20th century. Mm. Back in 1610, a long time ago, uh, she said, Thus I make it known to you that from the end of the 19th century and from shortly after the middle of the 20th century, baptism, penance, and confirmation will be hardly received, and Holy Communion would be profaned. So now, th this certainly was not speaking about the 15th, 16th century. Yes. Because at that time, there was actually a flowering of the faith in response to the Protestant Reformation. They had reformed the church. There were there were great disciplines, and there was a, a great push for the, the sacraments. Yes. But in the 20th century, you see this happening because of declining attendance at church, uh, a weakening of the faith even among families, and therefore less baptism, less confession, less confirmation. And these you know, if, and the less communion, and if these things are happen, plus the profanation of the Eucharist, then the very instruments of our salvation are undermined. If you don't baptize, people are not become do not become children of God. If you do not confess, then your sins build up until they drag you down to hell. If there is no confirmation, you deny yourself, you deny children and young people of the grace of the Holy Spirit that they need to be holy to to fight the battles, the spiritual battles of our time. And of course, the Eucharist is the greatest, the greatest treasure of our faith. If it is profane, then of course, not only do we deny ourselves the, uh, the graces of being one with Christ, we also commit the exactly. really a great sacrilege and uh, blasphemy by attacking the body of God himself. You are watching ATVN Philippines. Emmanuel. God with us who saves. Yes, and there's more. There's more on the 20th century. Okay. About, what else? about church scandal prophesied uh -huh. for the 20th century. Okay, back then, back in the 1600s, as she said, the devil will try to persecute the ministers of the Lord, the ministers of the Lord in every possible way. He will labor with cruel and subtle astuteness to deviate them from the spirit of their vocation and will corrupt many of them. These depraved priests 
will scandalize the Christian people, will make the hatred of bad Catholics and the enemies of the Catholic Church fall upon all priests. So that, that came to pass, all the church scandals, right, were exposed in the 20th century. They began to be exposed in the 20th century, and they were prophesied way back in 1610. And, and it really, uh, again, going back to 1610, all these, uh, these things, I'm sure, may have happened here and there, but there was a great disciplining of the church during that time, again, to counter uh, the excesses that led to the Protestant Reformation. But in our time, there, unfortunately, uh, this thing has just, uh, you know, exploded. And you have even people high up in the church, mm. uh, like uh, Cardinal McCarrick, uh, who was, of course, uh, in, in uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, terrible, terrible things. And, uh, and this was prophesied by Our Lady precisely uh, because... You know, we know the devil will undermine the church because the church is the instrument of salvation. How many died in Typhoon Yolanda? Do you well, remember? They, they said about 15,000. How many died in the Great Potato Famine? And I already warned of this, and again, the warnings were ignored. Initiating satellite scan. 